Due to support from the Visual Snow Initiative, we've been able to undertake a series of investigations of both patients and normal people. We forget what the brain really does, and there's this myth that we're only using 10% of the brain. The reality is that the other 90% is a little bit like looking at a duck wandering across a pond. There's an awful lot going on under the water while everything looks very serene above. What we're effectively doing is measuring all that background activity that results in a response. In our case, we're looking at a sensory motor system where vision is the sensation and eye movement is the output. Given that it's a very stereotypical response, we, we actually practice this literally from birth and have very accurate responses to set stimuli. We can actually see sm small changes in responses. So this measures directly what's happening in the brain in patients with a wide range of um, uh, neurological diseases but more specifically in visual snow, which was not previously recognized as a disease, we've been able to demonstrate that there is physiological abnormality, and now we've been able to characterize that abnormality. So the next step is to manage or treat that abnormality.